I, when I look at that and I see that fight and just, you know, how much different shit could be now, mm -hmm. you know, uh, had I went into that fight healthy, especially, I think the the entire division would look different. But I'm going to correct all that in a little bit. Let me let me yeah. get my hands on Khabib first. And well, we'll, it's interesting. We'll it I mean, you're in the running now for sure. And before this fight, I think you were a slight underdog in the Barboza fight. Yeah, probably. But after that domination, I mean, you, you for sure moved up and – you're in the running now, 100%. So you got Poirier, who just looked real good against Gagey and won that fight after getting his legs chewed up. Um, and then you've got, but, you know, Poirier, of course, was knocked out by Michael Johnson. And then you've got you coming off of the loss to Tony, stormed the gates with this fight. And then you've got Eddie Alvarez, who looked great against Justin Gagey. The, it's very hot. Yeah. And then Connor is. Yeah. Going to jail? I mean, <laughs> I mean, we, I mean, who knows what's I, happening? I think that's the X factor is what's happening with Connor. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Dustin is out there, he, 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 but I just don't see no. I'm speaking as it from a fan, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't see no uh, upsides to that, you know. I mean, to you fighting he, him? No, no, to, to to him and Khabib. I mean, they can make it happen, right. and, and Khabib will go out there and he'll smoke him. I mean, that should be real here but uh i just don't see many fans getting behind that just from what does dustin bring to the table that could be ain't already seen too. Well, this is the big fight right now i mean just being completely honest the big fight right now is khabib and connor 100%. in russia that's the big fight that's 100%. the big fight or even madison square garden i mean they they can, they can make that happen i don't think new uh, york is ever letting that motherfucker <laughs> fight there again i just don't think they're gonna do that they don't play games man that athletic yeah, commission's no. a different commission and they're new to mma and that was embarrassing for them i mean him throwing the fucking dolly and the fact that they let them get in there with all his boys and the whole thing was just so thuggish and didn't the thing in bellator happen in uh was that in new york or new jersey what uh, thing happened in Bellator? Uh, where he where he went over and slapped Goddard and all that. You know, oh, called was that people, Bellator? Yeah, he called people bitches and hoes. And, you where know, was he, that? I want to say that was in Ireland or England. Was it in Ireland? I think it was in England. I want to say it was in London. Wasn't that the Bellator London card? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. that Goddard thing was crazy. You yeah, know? yeah. I, mean, I felt like that happened on, on the East Coast, too. But, I mean, if but that was but one, it, either way, this is yeah. two. It's like he just yeah. keeps fucking up with this kind of stuff. And, yeah. and and you know no one's saying get rid of him you know, he's just he's worth so much money it's really yeah, fascinating yeah. what i was saying is imagine if ray borg and him switched sides if ray oh, borg yeah. showed up with all his boys and was screaming and yelling and threw a dolly at the window it's done deal it's done deal oh, forever, it's done deal. forever. Oh, yeah yeah no, ray... paul daly what paul daly must be at home going motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> hey look it's certain Fuck things Dana White. <laughs> it's certain things that that we just can't do, you know, Paul. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, until you get to that stratosphere, yeah. that Conor McGregor, it's like there's so much money to be made. That's the problem. It's like the the rules get bent. Paul Paul Daly was did was throw a punch as he at was Josh Koscheck yeah. after it didn't even connect. Yeah, like yeah. that could have been sorted out. Yeah, and, and uh, you even had guys like like Will Brooks kind of got the hammer put down on him, didn't he? Uh, after he got knocked out and then pushed the ref. Uh, I think was that Will Brooks? Was that Will? I'm sorry, I don't know. What was it? I don't know. You're mm. looking at me funny. I don't know. I'm thinking. Was it real? I'm, I'm thinking you're right. It was somebody. You know, he got knocked out and then pushed the ref right after. And it's like they put a lot on. Oh no, it wasn't Will Brooks. I'm sorry. It was a. Uh, 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 oh God, 170 pounder. Hmm. I know who you're talking about. Damn. God damn it. Who was that? God, this is gonna kill me. Sorry, yeah. But, but I, we'll, either we'll way, figure it out. you know, and, and, and they held him against him, and yeah. and he was concussed. You know, yeah. you didn't know, you right. barely know where you at. Jason after that. High, Jason High, that's yeah, it. that's what it was. Yeah, see, yeah, a great he, fighter too. He's a very good fighter. Yeah. And what people don't understand Look, is that once you get knocked out and then you come back, you really don't know what happened. You're you're really out of it. Yeah, who, who knocked him out? Who stopped? Uh, it him? was Dos Santos, right? It was yeah, yeah, it was Dos Santos. That was Dos Santos. Welterweight yeah. debut, right? Uh, no, that no, was it was at like fifty five still. Was 55, yeah, fifty five yeah. still, yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. again, he was a great fighter. I mean, it's just certain things that uh <laughs> we just can't do, Joe. Oh, you, we meaning people of color. Is that what yeah, you're saying? yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look, do you, I don't want to say Floyd it that way. Mayweather could do it though. No, it's, Floyd it's, can do it. I just think it's people with that uh, he's there's a level you, to the game where you're so valuable yeah. that you like if Conor McGregor does a pay per view fight. Especially if they do, you heard all that crazy nonsense they were going to do with McGregor, like no shoes, mm -hmm. you can clinch, but no kicks, mm -hmm. no takedowns, no submissions. If they ever did that, 
They're gonna. They're just printing money. They're yeah, printing yeah. money. I mean, one hundred percent. But so hard for them to not take that money. But I mean, and, and I don't hold that against them. And I've always said that about the UFC. The UFC about the green, and I and I understand that. And this, uh, that's kind of where I'm coming from it from. But you know, it's just consistency. Yeah. Well, you. I think you just have to realize as a as a as a black man in America, really. Like, there's two ways to approach the situation. You can either be the victim or you can just say it is what it is. That's some circumstances. You know, uh, black people just don't support other black people the way the Irish support the Irish, the <laughs> Russians support. I mean, I'm just being real with well, you. That's the reality why... is white people in America don't support white Americans the way the Irish support that, Connor. Oh, Nobody well, does. One hundred percent. I mean, and, is... and it's an American thing. I mean, for were you, you in could... Vegas? When he was fighting, when he was uh, fighting Mayweather, did you see the fucking, the people that were in Mandalay Bay, which wasn't even where the oh, yeah. fight was taking place. Yeah. The entire place was flooded with people singing together. And when he fought Dustin Poirier uh, at 178, they kept me up all, I was on the undercard of that fight. It kept me up all fucking Just night singing. In, the, in the MGM. Yeah. Uh, they were running up and down the, 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 the halls uh, of the MGM. Like, yeah. The security couldn't stop them. I mean, they're, they, they're crazy. They they're rapid. Crazy. They crazy. But that's that's what's gonna. I mean, obviously he had great performances on top of it for sure. But that definitely helps. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. when, when your first fight uh, in the UFC debut is in Boston, they're going crazy for you like that. Yeah, you just don't see that much, uh, and it, and it's sad, really. Uh, you you talk about Floyd Mayweather, really how Floyd got big like that is he had to go against the Mexicans and you know he had to get them to really hate him right. in order to get big exactly you know? yeah it's, but it's, that's also his style whereas Connor's style is very different because he knocks guys dead it's a different style you know like make, remember when Tyson was in his prime you knew no one was gonna beat him it was yeah. just you were waiting to see the executions when you were just a little boy at the time yeah 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 you, you probably yeah, weren't even yeah, born yeah. My, yeah. my pops was what, like huge. What time Mike were you Tyson born? Uh, what, what, 92. Yeah, see, yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ, you yeah, missed yeah. everything. Well, <laughs> yeah. my pops was a huge Mike Tyson fan. <laughs> yeah. I'm a huge boxing fan, so, you know, I go back. And you I'm, were born I'm, in 92. That's hilarious. I'm a huge boxing fan. Yeah, just as old yeah. as the UFC, actually. So uh, That's crazy, right? Yeah. Pretty much, right? It was a year after you were born. It started. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, but the, the Tyson days, he was the biggest pay-per-view draw, but it was really just you were watching an execution. And yeah. there was yeah. also, like, people were thinking, like, man, is this going to be worth it? How long yeah. is this one yeah. going to last? Like, but but he were... still, but he still, he was, he had to be the villain a mm -hmm. little bit, you know? Little and, bit. and that's the, every, and it, I mean, I, it sucks to say, it's just like every real Big black fighter is usually the villain, you know, and, and that that's the but way Anthony that we kind of get over. But Anthony Joshua's not, but that's not American. He's a yeah, he's British. It's yeah. different, you know. He's, he's totally he's, different, man. Yeah, he's totally loved different that's, over there. Yeah, it's a totally different atmosphere. And I mean, it's when was the last time we had a really loved African American fighter in America? I mean, they're 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 out there. I mean, for sure, people love Sugar Roy Jones. Leonard, Pe people Roy Jones. People for love. Sure. And, and people love yeah. Muhammad Ali after uh, you know. But even Roy Jones After took some shit for being sure. cocky. Well, for sure. You yeah, know, you because to. he was so shit, that's the culture. dominant. But that's the culture, though. You yeah. got to be cocky. You got to be You got to be all those things. Like, I, even the way I, I talk a lot of shit, but that's just yeah. that's just because that's the culture. Like, that's what I do. I mean, it's, well, it's also an effective mind, like, mind game strategy. Like, a guy who's talking shit to you, it makes you more anxious more nervous yeah. more emotions more everything with, with certain guys you know there's certain guys that you can play that to uh like i said everybody's got like those three categories you know you with athletes especially athletes and competitors mm -hmm. uh, you know they kind of you know get more shooken up by stuff like that yeah. a fighter don't give a fuck you know you talk shit right. to nate diaz he don't give a fuck like right. he, he, you know, he love it like, he likes it he yeah. likes it more me i like it a little bit more connor you can tell he likes it a little yeah. bit more uh it gets my mind off the actual fight itself because that's what we grew up like talking right. shit you know so it's so